Hi, my name is Kevin Matheson, and this is my persuasive speech on outsourcing. Former Fed Chairman Alan Greenspan once stated that a million American workers currently leave their jobs every week, two-fifths involuntarily. A million, more or less, are also newly hired every week. About 400,000 jobs per year in the U.S. are lost due to outsourcing. While the amount of jobs lost due to outsourcing may sound shocking, this in reality only equates to about 0.3% of the U.S. labor force, meaning that the majority of jobs lost in the U.S. are not caused by outsourcing to other companies. While it may come as a surprise to you, outsourcing can actually be a good thing. It can be a good thing for three reasons. Outsourcing can be a good thing for employees, outsourcing can be a good thing for businesses, and outsourcing can be a good thing for the U.S. economy. First, here's how outsourcing can be a good thing for employees. Information Week journalist Mary Hayes Wire analyzed how outsourcing helped increase the quality of work environment for St. Joseph's Health Systems, which runs 16 hospitals. St. Joseph's outsourced about 265 jobs in its information technology department to Perot Systems Corporation. However, 85% of the employees affected by the outsourcing were actually offered jobs with Perot, which St. Joseph's Chief Information Officer Ben Williams believes will provide more chances for career growth and experience for his now former employees than they would have gotten previously in their comparable roles in the healthcare company's IT department. In my personal experience as an employee for Best Buy, I have actually been affected by outsourcing myself. However, not in the sense most people would think. When the term outsourcing comes up, most people think, oh, the job's being outsourced overseas, and that way it can be done cheaper. However, that's not always the case. In my case, I worked in the product process department for Best Buy. Part of my old job responsibilities were making sure all of our CDs and DVDs were stocked out in the department, making sure they were organized so that customers could find them okay without having to have help all the time, and pulling DVDs and CDs for send back, as well as setting them for the new ad, and so on and so forth. Well, last year, Best Buy actually outsourced that part of my job to a third party company called Anderson Merchandisers in order to save money. Well, my department lost what we thought was a significant amount of labor dollars due to the reduction in our job responsibilities. It turned out that the reduction in responsibilities actually let us use more of the labor we still had for more profitable tasks, like stocking iPods and TVs, and making sure that our inventory is accurate when you come into the store to buy a product. It also relieved the stress of the employees in my department of having too many tasks and not enough time to do them in. In the long run, the amount of labor lost did not negatively affect most employees' pay either, as the company allocated my department more labor for other existing tasks. Outsourcing can definitely be a good thing for employees by reducing stress and increasing the opportunities for career growth. However, that is not the only benefit. As my second point illustrates, outsourcing can also be a good thing for businesses. CRM magazine writer Jason Compton examined how outsourcing can be good for businesses in his 2004 article, Making the Right Call. Compton examines the situation of 1-800-Flowers, who outsourced part of their call centers, not overseas as most people would expect, but instead to agents working from home for contractor Alpine Access. The agents are given remote access to the same software as 1-800-Flowers in-house agents without the company having to provide a physical place for their employees to go work at. This is convenient for the employees, but more importantly, saves money on rent and utilities for 1-800-Flowers, which means they're able to keep their costs lower and in turn attract more customers. Also, as I shared earlier, I've been personally affected by outsourcing in my workplace. By outsourcing our media tasks to a third party company, the look and feel of our store's media department has increased tremendously. As before we turned over the tasks, the organization responsibilities fell low on our priority list of many other tasks. By having third-party employees dedicated only to those media tasks, the quality of work has greatly improved, which leads to increased sales in the departments and a better self-serve customer experience. As you have learned, outsourcing can be a good thing for both employees and businesses. But now, let's look at it on a larger scale. For my final point, let's look at how outsourcing can be a good thing for the U.S. economy. USA Today Magazine journalist Murray Wiedenbaum provides some statistics about how outsourcing positively affects the U.S. economy in his, art, or in his article, Outsourcing is a Good Thing, mostly. Wiedenbaum states that about 400,000 U.S. positions in information technology have gone offshore. However, only about 1.4% of the $120 billion spent on information technology services in the U.S. 
in 2003 moved offshore. With that small of a percentage of jobs actually moving offshore, it appears that the problem of outsourcing has probably been sensationalized by the media for added shock value, which improves their ratings, when it's not really as big of a problem as they make it appear to be. Wiedemann also states that total U.S. employment rose from 129 million in 1993 to 138 million in 2003, mainly in services. When combined with the previous statistic about how few IT jobs actually have moved overseas, this goes to show that by moving certain jobs overseas, we've actually been creating more jobs for American workers. By actually creating more jobs locally and only sending certain jobs overseas, outsourcing positively affects the U.S. economy. As you've now learned, outsourcing can be a good thing for employees by reducing stress and increasing opportunities for career growth. It can be a good thing for businesses by helping them save money and increasing the quality of work in their companies. It also positively affects the U.S. economy by creating more jobs locally in the U.S. due to cost savings by companies. So in conclusion, I challenge you, the next time you hear about outsourcing and how it's a problem, take a closer look at the facts and you might be surprised at what you see. Because in most cases, outsourcing can be a good thing.